Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us tonight. Take a look at what was blowing out of Halemaumau Crater today, one of the biggest ash plumes over the past week. Now, this isn't the big steam explosion they're expecting, but man, what a sight to see. What's up, guys? It is Marf. It is May 15, 2018, and we've got breaking news that the Kilauea volcano just sent 12,000 feet of ash and plume into the sky, including dangerous gases, which are good for no ohana. Either way, I want to let you guys know that this isn't even the big one. The big one is on its way. In fact, they think that it might happen tomorrow or the next day, sometime soon. This is the start of it, not the end. So when people think about Yellowstone and all this stuff, Yellowstone's not going to just happen. It's going to show us signs before it happens, and that's exactly what we are watching right now. What it has made is for some of the most spectacular photos and videos ever taken. Uh, the one that, that I actually made the thumbnail out of, the gentleman playing golf with a 12,000-foot plume behind him. This is going to be National Geographic all week. So make sure to stay tuned, follow your local news, and ohana to my friends, family. Please be careful on the big island. If you, if you feel anything weird, just get the heck out of there. Get a plane ticket, get a boat ticket, get on your surfboard for God's sake. All right, thanks guys. Have a great night and Marf out. Marissa, I got to tell you, it was an amazing sight that we witnessed this morning. And no, you're correct. It's not quote unquote the big one. Of course, over the past several days, most of the attention has been focusing around the lower East Rift Zone, where all the fissures have been breaking out. Those have been very dramatic. But today, a lot of the attention turned to the summit up at Halemaumau, where we saw the biggest ash explosion to date. In fact, at its height, we're told the plume reached more than 12,000 feet in the air. And that was enough for issues to be worn, not only to nearby surrounding residents, but even to aviators. For Susan Cabral and her husband, Randy, the morning started in dramatic fashion. The awe of this force of nature and what you've witnessed. And as you look at this, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's spectacular. And it's frightening at the same time. Um, we, you know, we don't know where we're going to go, what we're going to do. It depends on which way the wind blows. From her home in Volcano Village, about three miles away from the Halemaumau crater, they watched in amazement as Mother Nature was on full display. To it's Madam Pele's country, and we're her guests. According to scientists at the U.S. Geological Survey, this was all part of the ongoing activity at Halemaumau, and the potential for a powerful explosion caused by receding lava interacting with cooler underground water still exists. It intensified today, uh, but it wasn't the big one, uh, so to speak. Uh, does that mean that we won't see a, a much bigger, more explosive event? It, no, not necessarily. It could plug up and we could yet in the future have the so-called big one. Today was more of a gradual ramp up uh, and it was continuous enough that we felt it was significant to put out a public warning.